Good day everyone and welcome to today's class. My name is Ebo Kade. We'll be looking into reproduction. Introduction All animal reproduces their younger ones sexually. This happens when a male and a female animal of the same type meet together. Now look at the pictures at the right hand of this slide. You will see two chickens, a male and a female, and two dogs, a male and a female, meeting each other. In this process, they want to reproduce a younger one of their version. That means the, the chicken wants to reproduce a younger chicken, while the dogs want to reproduce a younger dog. Now, after mating, the female may lay eggs as in the case of chicken, dog, and other animals like fish, insects, and frogs. Not all animals reproduce to their younger ones during, child, during their birth period, during their birth process. Some of them lay eggs. Like in the case of a chicken, fish, insect and frog, these animals lay eggs and after some period of time, the egg hatches and the younger ones are being reproduced. That is for some animals. Why some animals like dog, goat, cows and all other animals like that they reproduce to their younger ones at birth process that is why i put it there that in other animals like goat cow dog etc after the male and female mate together the female carries the pregnancy and later gives birth to the younger animals alive yes, they carry the pregnancy for some stipulated period like our mommies at home, so when they are pregnant, you know, it is for nine months before they reproduce another baby. So these animals too have a stipulated time of carrying their pregnancy before they give birth. Now let's continue with the introduction. Like other living things, human beings reproduce. It is what keeps the population going. Now, like animals too, we human beings, like um, a male and a female gender to reproduce it. Without reproduction, the population will not grow. So it is when your mommy gave birth that you, you multiply in the family, that you have another person in the family. And that is how it is generally. When the person is being born, the population of the country, the population of the nation increases. I hope you get it now. So it is the same way, it is the same way um, animal reproduce um, human beings too have their own process of reproduction. That is why I put it here that like other living things, human beings reproduce. It is what keeps the population going. In human, this happens when the male and female reproductive system works together to make a baby. Yes, when a female, when a male and a female being mate together, their reproductive system works together so that another baby can be formed and that is how you are being formed that is how you are being given birth to now what is reproduction reproduction is the process by which a living organism produces its young ones or likeness like what i have explained earlier uh, the two chicken the male and the female chicken coming together mating together to reproduce another younger one that is what we call reproduction. Reproduction is the process by which a living organism produces its young ones or likeness. It is a process where your father and your mother comes together to give birth to you. I think that will make you easily understand it. So when your mom is in pregnant, when your mom is pregnant and it give, she gives birth to another baby, that is what we call reproduction. Function of male and female reproductive system. Now, without these two male reproductive system and female reproductive system, there is no reproduction. These two organs are the main reason why reproduction comes into existence. Without male being, without male and female reproductive organ there is nothing called reproduction there are two reproductive organs male reproductive organs and female reproductive organ 
the male reproductive organ. Male reproductive organ produce sperm and transfer it to the female reproductive organ to get fertilized and produce the new one of their kind. Like I said initially, without the male reproductive organ coming to meet with the female reproductive organ, there will not be reproduction. Male reproductive organ is the organ that produces sperm. It is the one that transfers sperm to the female reproductive organ. And without sperm being transferred to the female reproductive organ, there, is, there will not be reproduction. So it is through the process of which sperm is being transferred to female reproductive organ from the male reproductive organ that it fertilizes in the female reproductive organ and brings forth a new being and brings forth the production. Function of male reproductive organ. One, it produces sperm. Two, it transfers sperm to the ovum. The ovum is part of the female reproductive organ. Where sperm is being transferred to and it is being um, fertilized and um, it is being reproduced to what? To another kind of that person. Now to the female reproductive organ. It functions in producing ovum that is eggs, and when gets fused with the male gamete, which is the sperm, produces the younger ones and nurtures it to the full growth before birth. That is, when the male reproductive organ releases sperm to the ovum, they fertilize to become egg, and when it becomes egg, that is when it is being nurtured as pregnancy. So when you see your mommy's belly that is big, that means the, the male reproductive organ has fertilized the egg, which is the female reproductive organ, the ovum, which is the female reproductive organ, and they meet together so that they could produce a younger person. I hope you get it. It is when the sperm meets with the egg and they fertilize together that they become um, um, a younger, that they, can, that they can reproduce a younger one. So it is during this process that we call pregnancy that our, our your mommy's belly would will, will, will be shoot out like it will be bigger than normal. So that is the process of pregnancy when they are being bringing forth another of um, of your younger ones, another of your replica, a replica of them. That is when you have a younger one, when you have a younger brother or a younger sister. I hope you get it now. So, function of female reproductive organ. Number one, it produces ovum. That is egg. It receives and fertilizes the male sperm. It supports the development of the growing embryo. It provides nourishment to the infant, that is newborn, by secreting milk in the mammary gland, that is the breast. Now, it supports the development of growing embryo. That is that pregnancy process. It helps the baby to grow well in the, preg in the, in the belly. So, during that pregnancy, it helps the baby to develop gradually. It helps the embryo. The embryo is, um, um, what would I call it, the sperm and the egg being mixed together. That doesn't form a full baby. So, it helps it to grow from that process. And it provides nourishment to the infant by secreting make a mammary gland so when um, um, a new baby is born it is still this female reproductive organ that helps the mammary gland to bring forth milk from the breast so that the newborn baby you know the newborn baby will not be able to eat whatever we are eating rice things and every other thing so that the baby will be able to suck the milk from the breast these are functions of female reproductive organ so we are going to stop there for today and before we go i have um, a little assignment for everyone we are going to be submitting to the gmail address that is being scrolled down your screen that is gmosmith at edufest.ng number one draw the male and female reproductive organ number two state the function of male and female reproductive organ you can state more than what I put in this slide here. If you have other ideas of what function 
of male and female reproductive organs are, you can put it there and send all of your answers to jimosmith at edifest.ng. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye.